I'm well. I'm yeah. well. I'm doing well. Um, uh, uh, how things have been in general. Um, I've made uh, significant progress, obviously, uh, since that night. Um, much more independent, much more able. I'm, I'm standing and walking, uh, talking. I'm able to socialise again, uh, see family and friends. Um, um, doing well with my training and my rehabbing at the moment. Uh, currently in a uh, run walk program, which is what I'm working through uh, to build, continue to build myself up and the left side of my body up uh, to increase my uh, my inability because obviously a lot of, I lost a lot of that uh, since uh, since last year and I'm just basically trying to get as much of me back as possible. Um, I've still got far to go, um, but. Uh, I'm on my way. Um, but I'm trying not to plan too far ahead because you get setbacks, you get things that it's it's not going gonna go the way you want it to go, the way I want it to go. You know, you get setbacks, you get things that go wrong, you get sometimes you get things that um, you know, uh, you wake up at one day uh, and you're just being pain for a couple of days and you can't really do any training until it eases off or um, for example we had the uh, that winter spell that I think we had in March. Um, that really caused me a setback, um, you know, loss in power, loss in endurance, uh, loss in grip strength. So you, you're sort of still learning what you can and can't do, because things like cold weather like that never really affected me before. And now obviously since that night, things like that do affect me, but you don't know they affect you until it happens. So I'm still learning um, and I'm still working out. So I see, I have my plans, I have my intentions, but I sort of have to be realistic about it. Um, yeah. In terms of in terms of work, um, I will uh, at the moment their plans or intentions for me to come back to work in July, um, which is good because um, I do know that the longer you are out, the harder it can be to get back in. So, and it's uh, it's just it's a true. It's a job that I enjoy. You know, it's, who, it's who I am, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Now saying that and then convincing Ma and Pops and the partner that it's still the right thing to do is, is a completely different ball game. And some mess the messages just <laughs> too many for me to remember. Um, I just, but I made a point of reading as many as possible. So I remember my colleagues printing loads and loads of just inundated emails and being told that like you know the servers are co completely overloaded and the public. Have they've, they've, they've been inspiring? You can't, uh, you can't deny the response that the public has towards me and towards the job and such. And um, other police officers uh, since uh, that tragedy of last year. Inspiring, it was um, overwhelming, it was encouraging. Um, you know, uh, you go through these stages where when you're stuck in a, uh, a bed and stuff and you've got this time to keep thinking about things and, and then you get these messages from people who you know just heard about you've never met them and you, you, you never will uh, not in most cases but just genuine heartfelt you know caring messages you know, it wasn't just written for the sake of writing people felt the need to send me something or write me something it makes a difference to me anyway. I, th I think the it showed what it meant to a lot of people.